Everything begins in your mind. If you think about any area of your life up until now, you created it via your mind and on the screen of your imagination. Our mind and our imagination is the sketch pad and the foundry of our creation. So when you look back on your life, on everything you've created so far, from the home you're living in to the clothes you're wearing, you've created all of that in your mind's eye, actually, on the screen of your imagination. My office in the barn that I'm sitting in right now, I created on the screen of my imagination first. And then I started sketching it onto paper. And then we started to make architectural diagrams for it. And then we hired contractors and actually my neighbor who helped build it. And eventually it got built. Well, just like when you want to get a new car, you've got an idea of the type of car you want, the make and model of it, the color of it, how it's going to feel when you're driving it. And you're mentally rehearsing what it would be like to drive in that new vehicle. And then eventually you start to think of thoughts on how you can get it, how much money it's going to cost, ways to save that money. And it's built in motivation for you to purchase that car eventually, right? Well, we're really good at this in a lot of areas of our life, but often we fall short with the most important area of our life which is you, yourself, the vision you have for yourself. And I actually want to start by sharing a letter that Bruce Lee wrote back in the 60s. And it details this principle to the T. In fact, he named his letter based off of an idea that comes from Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. And it's my definite chief aim. And to translate that idea, all that really means is your defined vision, right? My definite chief aim my North Star. Like there's lots of ways we describe this idea now, but this is Bruce Lee's actual letter from about 60 years ago. So check this out. I, Bruce Lee, will be the first highest paid Oriental superstar in the United States. In return, I will give the most exciting performances and render the best of quality in the capacity of an actor. Starting 1970, I will achieve world fame. And from then onward till the end of 1980, I will have in my possession $10 million. I will live the way I please and achieve inner harmony and happiness. (laughs) How awesome is that? Right? Bruce Lee wrote that before he made $10 million, before he established world fame as an actor and as a performance artist, he had a definite chief aim, a definite vision for his life. He didn't know how he was going to become a superstar, but he just started taking action in that direction. So the idea I want to share with you on today's video is you are the captain of your ship. Your mind is the captain of your ship and your body and life is the ship. So wherever your mind is pointed, it's going to steer your ship in that direction. Another cool analogy I want to share with you is you are the commander or general of your army and the cells and atoms of your body are the army. So whatever you're thinking on the screen of your imagination, your thoughts, your beliefs, your self-image, all of those are commanding your cells. In other words, the thoughts you're thinking, the words you're speaking, what you're writing, those are commands, those are spells. You're spelling out energy from your thoughts onto paper, right? You're commanding the energetic field, and that is what is contributing to the creation that you're creating right now. Well, the coolest part about this is you can decide to start to command the cells of your body, and you can decide to start to steer your ship in a new direction at any given moment in time. Well, with this exercise I'm about to share with you, you are going to define your vision and your definite chief aim in a way that's going to be so detailed that you're going to know exactly what you're creating and how you're going to create it. And even generally speaking, in the time frame that you want to create it. So let's get right to this. You have two self-images. One is physical, and it's the one you actually see in the mirror or on camera if you're taking a picture of yourself. The other self-image, though, is 10 times more important, and it's your mental self-image. It's the idea you have of yourself in your mind's eye, on the screen of your imagination. In other words, it's the one that's creating who you actually are. Because I got news for you. Your inner world creates your outer world. As above, so below. Right, Your mind, in other words, dictates the results of your body and your life. What we want to start to do is sculpt and detail out the mental self-image we have of ourselves to the next level. We want to be super detailed, similar to Bruce Lee, who wanted to be the first Oriental superstar that was the highest paid actor, right? He defined all that. He commanded it via what we're going to do right now, okay? So here's exactly what we do. I want you to just sit down and relax. Take a few minutes to just breathe in through your nose 
just relax the body with a few slow and deep breaths. Okay. Just kind of come back, reset yourself. Then I want you to close your eyes. And on the screen of your imagination, I want you to imagine the version of yourself that you desire to be. If you could look any way, maybe you've got the skin you desire, the strength you desire, the body and shape you desire, you weigh the amount of weight you desire, you've got the health you desire and the energy and passion and vitality you desire, whatever that looks like for you. I just want you to close your eyes and imagine it on the screen of your mind right now. As if you're watching a mini movie of your future, what are they doing in that body right now? Are they having lots of fun? Are they at work? Are they helping others? How are other people looking at you and responding to you in this body, in this version of yourself you desire to become? I want you to just do this for just a couple minutes. Well, if you notice in Bruce Lee's letter, he added a time period. He said, starting 1970 and through 1980, he was going to make $10 million. And also, if you notice, he didn't say exactly how he was going to make it. Generally speaking, as an actor, he envisioned making that money maybe as an actor, but he didn't necessarily know exactly how that was going to come in. So this is a really good idea to kind of think about is it doesn't matter where it's going to come from. It comes from the vision. The vision is providing the motivation and the ideas and the inspiration to go after what it is you're creating here. So a lot of people don't do this. And so they battle with finding motivation and they're trying to be consistent and more disciplined to force it. But they're trying to maybe climb the mountain instead of let the mountain build itself type of thing, right? This is the other way to do it. And this is the way I recommend to do this is you define this very clearly for yourself. And now every action you take from this point forward, every food you put in your body, every idea you have in your mind is going to start to become relationally closer to that version of yourself. So the last idea I want to share with you here is that we are relational beings. In other words, everything is relative. So I want to give you several analogies on how we actually operate. So let's just say you want to lose 25 pounds. It'd be great to have, but you don't put a timeline around it. Well, without any timeline, you're never actually going to get there because it's not defined anywhere. In other words, you have infinite amount of time to lose 25 pounds. Let's just say you know a little bit about this idea and you say, oh, it'd be nice to lose 25 pounds in the next couple of years. Okay. Well, in the next couple of years, if you're losing about a pound a month, you can get there. So in other words, there's not a whole lot that needs to change. Not a whole lot of motivation needs to happen there. But let's just say you want to lose 25 pounds in the next few months. Now, relationally speaking, that is building in more motivation for you. I want to use the analogy of a test you have to take, like when we were back in school, right? They'd say, oh, you got a test on Friday, so make sure you study for it. Well, what do we all do, right? Even if we have two weeks to study for the test, we might study a little bit in the beginning. Well, when do we study the most for it is right before the test, right? So 80 to 90% of the studying takes place a day or two before the test actually, right? In other words, relationally very close to the deadline. Well, the same thing is true in every area of our life. If we're not defining the areas of our life that we really want to make progress in, and we're not putting a defined goal or deadline to that area, or even just an idea of when you'd like to have it, if we're not doing any of those things, it's not going to build in much motivation for you. I hope this idea makes a lot of sense because once you really get this, nothing can stop you from reaching your goal. And literally you are self-creating motivation like 10, 20 times more effectively than you could do in any other regard. So I hope that idea of what we're doing with this visualization really makes sense, but we want to go one step further. Okay. The very last piece of this exercise is I would love for you to write down the vision you have. Similar to Bruce Lee, you could do it in a letter style if you want, or you could just write it out in a few paragraphs on a piece of paper or in a journal. Write out exactly what that version of you is going to look like, exactly how you want them to look, and when. Add the element of time to this, because as I just mentioned, it will amplify your results and amplify your motivation automatically. So I want you to have fun with this exercise, really sit down, visualize it for a few minutes, and then write it down on a piece of paper or in a journal. And if you feel compelled to keep writing, keep writing, like allow yourself to write because that's your energy channeling. So this should be a very fun, exciting, and passionate type of exercise that you're doing here. And you should rest assured knowing that you are pointing your ship in a new direction. You are starting to command your army in a new direction of your life. And when you really tie to this and you start to believe a hundred percent that this version of you is you actually right now, Ooh, does this get good? You start to show up as that version of yourself right now before it actually manifests. 
that's when life starts to get amazing because you can actually start that right now. Literally right now in this next present moment after you watch this video, you can begin to be that version of yourself right now. And then everything, your entire world and life and reality shifts in relational context to that idea now. Now, if you already are them, it's like you set your thermostat and now your mind and the cells of your body and your life are going to make you get to that version as quickly as possible because it doesn't make sense not being that version. If you love this idea and you understand the power of it, please like this video and let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you and see just how maybe this shifted your perspective a little bit. I promise we're going to have lots more mind-body evolutions to come in future videos, okay? So with that, I hope you have an amazing rest of your day and I'll see you in the next video.